And since he made us in his image, I believe that to a great extent the creativity we possess is because the Creator put it there. God put things in us to his tool developers and creative individuals, and I think it has to please him when he sees us use those faculties to make something completely new. What do I add as a human being? What does God's image in me generate that is representative of him? And I think that can be done in any skill. And therefore, I think when we use these skills, it can't help but give him pleasure, and hence we feel that pleasure in us. You're using what I built in you. You're unique. Uh, for there's something special about each one of us that we ought to try and cultivate and ask God, what is this unique part of me that I ought to really make work for you? And I think as Christians, we need to take our gifts and put them forth in a world which sees excellence from us. You can be a Christian pilot. You can be a Christian um, garbage collector. You can do any of those sorts of things because it's the salt and light you carry with you that's the point, not what you do. Okay? And therefore, the real credit doesn't go to me. It goes to him who created me. Many times if I'm having trouble with an idea, trying to understand something, I'll ask God, can you help me with this? I'm trying to understand, and it's not like he cheats for you. It's like when you encourage a child to learn something, you want to bring it out of them. You want them to discover it, but you guide them. And so I kind of feel I ask God to guide me, help me discover what's there. And sometimes some of the greatest ideas are the simplest. Probably the most, the, the best one in my life was when I was trying to create the laser printer. This was and it has a little spinning mirror in it, and it had to be extremely precise. And the question was, how will this ever be producible when it's got to have the, such a tiny angular error in the mirrors? And I sat down and thought about that and went back to first principles in optics since I was an optics guy and looked at something and then said, well, that's interesting. That would work if it was that way. Then it dawned on me this was something called a cylinder lens. So I drew it out and said, this looks like this would work. And then I thought, no, that's way too simple. Nothing that simple could solve this problem. Well, it solved the problem. It cracked the rock, okay? And it was the closest to having a eureka moment I've ever had in my life.